Hey, Dad, could I have some advice? Well, of course, sweetie. Is everything okay? Uh, everything okay at school? You not getting along with a friend of yours? Uh, boy trouble. Uh, um, on second thought, I'm not so great at giving advice. I'm not as, what's the word, articulate. Your mother, however, is an excellent advice giver. She's on the phone. Uh, she won't be forever. Please? Leave out as many details as possible. Okay, um, well, there's, there's this boy out. Okay, um, what does he want, and if... I'm sorry. A creature of habit. Go on. Well, I think he wants to... Okay, that's enough. You tell that punk that if he lays one fingernail on you, he'll have to answer to me. Unless he's taller than me, then he'll have to answer to your mother. There. I hope that helped. Man, what the fuck took you so long? Excuse me? I don't think you're in any position to speak to me that way. If you want to get out of here a free man, I suggest you talk. What you want to talk about? Let's start from the beginning. We have your footprints running into the forest by Trey Gilliard's car. Who the fuck's Trey Gilliard? Don't pull that with me. You have your cell phone. You read all your messages to him. If you're gonna lie to me about who you're texting, at least put a lock on your phone. Why you wanna frame me for it? Frame is not the word we would use. Prove, convict, that's the preferred vernacular. We have enough to put both of you together. I know all about you, I know all about you need more intel. Smart man. It would be smarter as if you didn't waste my time. You see, I think either you did it, you know who did it, or you just like playing games. My shift started an hour ago. I can go all night. Question is, can you? for coming, Dwayne. I heard from Betty Red that you guys were here. And I just knew I had to come and tell you about what I saw. You've had a sighting? Oh, yeah. About a week ago? I, I fly a helicopter for aerial photography. I was flying north of the Cascades. And when I came into the ridge, I saw this thing following me. It must have been nine or 10 feet tall. It followed me for miles went through the brush like it was nothing. Gives me the chills just thinking about it. Do you think that you could show us on that map where you saw it? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's Rose Lake. On one side, there's a resort, and on the other, there's wilderness. 